Oh my Asna, the Kirito Awakens. So what's up guys, Foxen here. The first I say, War of the Underworld Part 2 trailer is out now. Really a teaser. So if you're hyped like me, gotta smash that like for Asna and ring that bell. By the way, this in-depth SEO breakdown is sponsored by Bookwalker. Definitely check them out after for all your SEO manga and light novel needs. Right at the start of this SEO trailer, you got three lights combining together. Earth, fire, water, let's go. But seriously, pink for goddess Asna, blue for goddess Shinan, and green of course for goddess Lifa. I mean, you can hear the voices of all the lovely SEO ladies here, all calling towards Kirito. Naturally, the combination of Asna, Lifa, Shinan will all help restore Potato Kirito back to 85%. Check out my Kirito video after for the full details. Next up, Goddess Asna. Oh my Stacy, I was already getting freaking chills from this. In this scene, you actually have the Human Empire army and Asuna fighting in this ruins area. In one of the shots, you can see this giant statue that Goddess Asuna runs past. That's gonna come into play. You could definitely expect this within the first four episodes. Next up, Goddess Lifa. So a good chunk of you were asking, where is Lifa? I mean, Shinan did appear, but Lifa was nowhere to be seen. Turns out right here, awesome. You're getting a sweet Goddess Lifa preview already. Definitely take a notice of the flowers and greenery down below her. Third up, Goddess Shinan. Unfortunately, nothing new, really just a shot from the previous last SEO episode. Don't worry, Shinan will get her moment. Don't forget about Alice. Alice just got kidnapped the last episode, and right here she's crying. She actually says, please lend me your power, Kirito. Overlaid on the scene are actually the silhouettes of young Alice and Yuju, both of the fallen friends. The actual text right here is a very obvious reference to Kirito. It mentions the final wish being written or carved out by him, which leads into that golden eye Kirito, also known as that supposed Kirito God Mode nickname that you guys just love. Really no surprise that they're going with this look for him. So, who is Hyde? Potato Kirito no more. Let me just mention it now. I really, really hope that they don't screw up the anime portrayal of Kirito's return, plus his final battle. Please don't abridge it too much. Please leave Kirito's thoughts in. But anyway, this is coming up in spring anime season, which is extremely packed at this point. This does mean SAO season 3 will come back in the first or second week of April. It's almost poetic, SAO will be back just in time for the Sakura season, which is only two months away. Come on, I'm super hyped, I can't wait. And yes, I will be reviewing the final SAO season 3 chunk weekly. Let's also not forget about the new SAO season 3 opening. Reona will return. This time she's actually going to be doing an opening. And can I just say, I'm so happy to see her succeeding so much. Reona already did an amazing job with the previous songs, plus ending in season 3 already. The only question that remains is who's going to do the final SAO season 3 ending? Is it going to be Asuna? Definitely leave your hope down below. I mean, I wouldn't mind it being Lisa again, but I do highly doubt it. Anyway, let me mention the next SAO Season 3 trailer, an actual full trailer. They have announced a full trailer coming out in Anime Japan 2020, which is happening in late March here in Japan, and yes, I'm gonna be there in person. Whether I could actually get into the SAO event is a different question. If you're hopped about Goddess Asuna, Lifa, Shinan, or even God Vector, definitely watch my in-depth video on all of them. I go over all of their abilities, plus what makes them so powerful. If you are craving more SEO right now, I definitely recommend the SEO light novels. Bookwalker has you covered. Head over to their site, grab as many SEO books as you like, and type in Foxen to get $5 off. Not only do you save, but it also does help out the channel. Bookwalker does want to sponsor more juicy SEO videos for you, so even more reason to give them a try. But anyway, who is hyped for Kirito's return? Or are you more hyped for the other goddesses? Definitely subscribe so you don't miss out my future videos. Check out my in-depth look on the underworld goddesses plus the god Vector. Find out what makes them so special and I'll see you guys later.